Hey guys, Callie Fab here, and you know how these videos go. So, I am going to go through some of the products in here that I've been using for the month, and I'm gonna go shop my stash for some new products. So, let's just get right into it. Starting with my uh, mascaras and eyeliners. This one, um, unfortunately, it irritated my eyes, so I'm gonna be decluttering this. This mascara is almost gone, the CoverGirl Super Sizer. I did put these two in my stash because I used up the other one I was using. And this is the Essence Lash Princess and the It Cosmetics Tightline Mascara. I love those together. And I've been using this one on top to use it up. So I'm gonna keep all of those in there. I haven't really used these at all, so I am gonna keep these in my stash. So that is mascaras and eyeliners. Over here I have my pressed powder foundation, my loose powder foundation, and my sponges. I'm going to keep all that in there. If you're curious, this is the Bare Minerals Original Pressed Powder Foundation, or I'm sorry, Loose Powder Foundation in the shade Light Beige 09. I wear the number 12 in the summertime. And this is my Tarte Confidence Creamy Powder Foundation, and I have the shade Light Neutral right now because I have zero tan whatsoever. So. I am going to be keeping all of that in there. For setting sprays, I did use up my Urban Decay All Nighter, so I put the Master Fix by Maybelline in here. And I have my Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray, and I also have my Wet n Wild Setting Spray for wetting my brushes. So I'm going to keep all of those in there. I'm going to try to use this up this month. I'm kind of sick of using it, so I want to get it used up. Then for my face products, I am going to take all of my highlighters out. I did already take out the Benefit Dandelion Twinkle Blush. I love that one. So I'm going to take out my ColourPop Here Kitty Kitty Blush, the Ulta Illuminating Powder, and my Urban Decay Sin. I loved all of these. I really enjoyed them, and I will definitely keep them in my stash. Then I have my Sexy Mama Anti-Shine Translucent Powder. This I used quite a few times and it didn't cake up on me or anything when using liquid foundation, so I'm gonna keep this in there. Then I have my Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronzer. You guys know this is my favorite bronzer of all time, but I'm actually working on a little sample size guy. So I'm gonna put this back in my stash. And then I have my Tarte Park Avenue Princess Matte Bronzer. I think I'm going to keep this in there to keep trying to use it up. I did end up putting in my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Soft Brown to try to get some use out of this. And I have my Brow Gal Brow Powder. I'm going to keep all of those in there. I didn't end up using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow at all, <laughs> so I'm going to take that out. And then I'm going to keep my Essence Pure Nude in. This is my favorite liquid foundation, so I'm going to keep that in there. Then moving on to lip products and blushes. I have the Elizabeth Mott Show Me Your Cheek sample and the Dandelion Blush. Look how much pan I have in here, guys. Like, that's a ridiculous amount of pan. I'm so excited about it. So I'm going to keep both of these in there. I have yet to repress this. I keep forgetting, so i got to remember to do that. I did use this MAC Nutcracker blush and highlight, and I did like it, so I'm going to keep this in my stash, but I'm going to take it out for now. I did end up using this Touch and Soul both sides, and I did enjoy it, so I think I'm going to keep this in my stash. I did use this, but this is more of a summer color. This is Bash by ColourPop. I have, I've used this one time, and I don't really feel like I got a fair um, assessment on it, so I'm going to keep it in here. I used this NYX Whipped in Cocoa Bean, and I really enjoyed this one, so I'm going to keep it in my stash. I have yet to use, again, the Wet n Wild Mega Last Color in Bare It All, so I'm going to keep it in here. I'm going to try to work on using this up, the Too Faced Lip, Lip Injection Glossy in the shade Milkshake. So I'm going to keep this in here, and I didn't get a chance to use Mystic by Nude Sticks. I love these Nude Sticks, like one of my favorite formulas, but I didn't get a chance to use it, so I'm going to keep it in here. And then my ColourPop Lippy Stick in cookie I used quite a few times and I love it. I'm going to put it back in my stash though. And then finally I have the palette that I put in here, the Lorac Unzipped Ocean Sunset Palette. I used this quite a few times and I'm just going to put it back in my stash. So 
All right. So let's go and shop my stash. So I'm trying the best that I can with this lighting here, guys. I have this big, huge ring light, and it's kind of hard to, you know, manipulate. So basically, I want to get a primer out of here because I'm using up those other ones, and I'm starting to really use them up. So I think I'm going to bring back in the NYX Born to Glow Illuminating Primer. I really did like this, and I want to see if I can use it more. I really didn't use it that much when I had it in, so I think I'm going to bring this in. Then I don't need a setting spray, and I don't think I want to put in another liquid foundation simply because I have a liquid foundation, but I do want to bring in a BB cream because I just want to, and this is apparently the only BB cream I have right now. So I guess I will bring in the Maybelline BB Pure Dream 8-in-1 Beauty Balm BB Cream. I don't know. It's in the shade 110 Light Medium Sheer Tint. So I'm going to bring this in. Then for palettes, I want to bring in this Meat Matrimony All Matte Palette. I've used this before in uh, First Impressions, and I really did enjoy the colors in here, but I haven't really used it much since then, so I'm going to bring this in because I have a shimmer palette that I'm going to bring in as well, and I will show you guys in a second. So for contours, I'm going to do this Elizabeth Mott, Mott What Up Beaches Matte Bronzer. This is the perfect contour for me. Here it is there, I love it. So I'm gonna do this one for my contour and then I think I'm gonna do this Too Faced Love Flush, nope, Sweetheart Bronzer in this shade Sweet Tea. I was gonna say Love Flush Blush. And I think this will be a beautiful glow for me for the this month to come. So I'm gonna bring these two in for my bronzer and contour. And then for my blush, I kinda wanna bring in this palette since I haven't used it in a long time. So this is the Tarte Color Wheel from last Christmas in 2016. I haven't really used this much, so I wanna bring this in. And I also wanna bring in one of these Urban Decay blushes. I have Score and I have Kinky. Score is a more bright color. It's like a bright pink. And Kinky is more of a peachy nude. I think I'm going to bring in Kinky just because I have a bunch of brighter pinks in here, especially on this side of the color wheel. So I think I'm going to bring in these two. And I still have those other two minis in my collection as well. And for highlights and face powders, I'm going to bring in my CoverGirl 110 Advanced Radiance again. I've been actually reaching for this a ton, so I figured I might as well just bring it in again. And I'm also going to bring in my NYX Finishing Powder in the shade Banana. I like this one for under my eyes. So I'm going to bring that one in as well for face powders. And then for highlights, I really want to bring in my Laura Mercier Highlight 01. This is a baked highlighter. I love it. It's so beautiful. It has such a natural finish to it. So I'm going to bring that one in. And I also want to bring a glowy finish in. So I think I'm going to bring my... Um, I don't know. to bring this Jouer highlighter in Citrine. I got this a little while ago, but I haven't really used it much, so I want to bring it in and get some more use out of it. So those are the products that I'm going to bring in for my highlights and face powders. And then for lip glosses, I'm not sure what I want to bring in. I want to try out this Essence Effect lip gloss. This is in the shade Metallic Copper. And then... I also want to bring in this Stila Lip Glaze, and this one is in the shade Apricot, or Apricot if you like that, 08. So I'm going to bring in these two to go with the rest of them that I have, and I think I'm going to just stop there, because <laughs> I have tons, and then I'm doing a lipstick roulette, so I think that'll be enough for lipsticks. And then I have my bullet lipsticks here. Sorry, the angle is not the best, and the lighting's not the best, because this is the best I can do. <laughs> so I think, um, 
Let's bring in this one. This is the Rimmel London Kate, and this is in the shade 14, and it's just a nude lipstick. So I want to bring, sorry, I want to bring that in, and then I definitely want to grab one of my Color Pops in the shade Topanga. I really like this one, but it's getting old. It's one of my oldest Color Pop colors, and I don't even think they sell it anymore. So I want to try to get some use out of this and see if I still like it and if the formula is still good. It is in a satin finish, so I'm going to bring these two in to go with the rest of my lipsticks. Okay, I found a few more things I want to bring in. I want to bring in this Pure Lip Lure in the shade Graceful. It's like a brown color, but it's getting old and I think it's probably almost gone. I used to use it a lot, so I want to bring that in. And then I also want to bring in a black eyeliner. This is the ColourPop Swerve Eyeliner. I tried it in a project pan and I couldn't use it up. So I'm going to bring that in. And I'm also going to bring a lip liner in since I don't have one. This one is in the shade Button. And as you can see, I have used it before and sharpened it and everything. And I just want to see if I can get some more use out of it. So I'm going to bring that in as well. So let me try to organize everything here. Okay guys, so that is my new drawer. I have all my, and I can't really see, eyeliners, mascaras, and lip liners over here. Face products here, here, and here, and here. <laughs> Highlighters, blushes. I have a highlighter and a blush here too, just because they fit better right there. And I have my Meet Matrimony palette. And I'm also going to bring in for my shimmer palette I'm going to bring this Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette. I did recently get this and I've been testing it out to do a review on my channel with it. So I am going to keep using that and keep testing it out so far. I love it, but I don't know. I haven't used all the colors, so I definitely want to keep testing this out. And then I have my lip products over here, blushes, and yeah, the rest of my face products. So... That's all for my Shop My Stash. And I also wanted to show you, sorry, this is gonna be at a weird angle for a minute here, but these are some of my other, project, other products that I'm working through. So as you can see, I have a couple primers in here, a mascara, lipstick, an eyeliner, a highlighter, um, foundation, and a bronzer in here. These are part of my project pans right now, so I want to keep using all of those, which is why they're in my other drawer. And then I have a couple other products over here, some sample sizes, some products I've been using a lot, some products that are getting old, and my face cream or my facial moisturizer, and then a couple of my palettes that I'm still getting work, I'm still working through, a palette that I'm still testing out, which I love this one, some of my facial oils, my nail polishes, my nail polishes that I am working through in my project pans. So I have quite a few other things in this other drawer, which I'm not going to take out and reorganize because this is how I'm keeping this drawer. So I hope you guys enjoyed my shop my stash video this time. And I hope that you come back for more. I hope you enjoyed the fact that I actually walked you through when I was picking out products. So I know a lot of you guys had mentioned that you wanted me to do that. So I did it. So I hope you guys enjoy this format a little bit more and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.